open skies and the majestic hills of the Karoo Mountains form the backdrop of Carnarvon. In fact, this morning we're coming to you live from uh, Bonteville Township in Carnarvon. It's part of um, what has been approved by government um, that forms part of that astro-tourism project that are obviously is taking place. It's set to empower the community, the area, and perhaps also just um, bring the galaxy through the Northern Cape. Um, we are going to be chatting about some of the initiatives through this Heritage Month, perhaps also um, around science and innovation at large for economic and social development, some of the updates that have also come to date and really where to from here. Um, for the conversation, I'm joined by MEC for um, Finance as well as Economic Development and Tourism, Venus Blenis Machache, to chat a little bit further. Good morning. Thank you for your time, MEC, at this hour. Good morning, Lizzo. Thank you so much for having us. I know that the, the, it's crystal clear with the skies today and it is um, easing up in terms of temperatures, but um, we're looking at the initiatives and the updates just ahead of World Tourism Day. Talk to us about the initiatives that have been unfolding, the significance for the community at large. Okay, thank you so much once more, Lizzo, for having us um, this morning. I think we're quite excited as a province to be hosting the World Tourism Day. When we received an invitation from the minister, we were quite excited to say, yes, let's host. And when she suggested Carnarvon to be the one that hosts, we were even more excited because of what Carnarvon has to offer for us as a province. You did say yourself that we have clear skies um, and Carnarvon offers, um, you've said in the opening, that um, the Northern Cape uh, but provides an opportunity for extra tourism. And um, we find ourselves in Carnarvon today, Open Skies, um, a place that offers us um, exactly that. And um, I think um, for us as a province, it's quite an opportunity um, because we then get to have um, a, an experience of space-related um, um, tourism in the province. We've had quite a number of initiatives so far building up to this. Um, we hosted um, the, the, the official media launch on the 20th of August, but we also thought it important to have a stakeholder engagement, which we hosted in Victoria West, just to have an engagement with um, tourism-related stakeholders on how best to improve ourselves, but also to get an experience on what the Northern Cape um, has to offer. Um, today we'll be visiting the SKA, which is her home here um, in Carnarvon. And um, I think one of the other things we should have um, to mention as well is that the Northern Cape is also home um, to the Southern African largest um, telescope um, that we find um, in, in, in the Sutherland. And this gives us an experience into our different sky tours, um, um, the sun gazing um, experiences. Like I said, this afternoon we'll be visiting um, the SKA um, with the minister. This evening we'll be hosting the minister um, at a welcome dinner, but also we'll have an experience of stargazing. Um, we have um, astro um, guides um, that, are they, that will be there at the um, event, and we'll have an experience into um, stargazing and just have an experience of what mm. astro tourism actually is and mm. what it has um, in terms of development of the province of the Northern Cape. I know that that this initiatives will be rolled out in phases because the reality on the ground upon entering Carnarvon is that you know um, you're fighting inequalities poverty you're looking at people that are not working you know they their um, recreation centers seem to be run down um, it just seems like job opportunities also are limited and so we're bringing in all these skills and all these um, international attention um, and, and our contribution to that astro strat um, tourism strategy at large but the challenges are real. You're fighting a scourge of GBV, drug addiction, um, as well as alcohol abuse as well. Women and minorities are also grossly affected. How have the community to date um, benefited from, from these initiatives? I mean, how do you quantify that as well? Um, and then really where to from you in terms of the implementation phase um, infrastructure and even just things to do in Carnarvon, right? Um, the reality is, is it's, it's rather grim as we speak. Yes. Um, look, um, in rolling out the implementation of this, it has to be an integrated approach. It's not something that we will be um, embarking on alone as the Department of um, Economic Development and Tourism. It involves stakeholders such as the municipality. Um, there's infrastructure developments that has to take place. You need to get to a point where um, tourism benefits the locals mostly in terms of uh, local content uh, production. And it is us that have to come in and ensure that we provide training um, to this extent um, through education and skills um, development training. We also have to have an 
engagement, um, with, which is a process that we've actually started already, um, with the uh, safety uh, department in the province and nationally, because for tourists to come into such areas, um, there's also um, issues of safety. And the men in blue, um, together with the community policing forum, have to play a crucial role in ensuring that this happens. Any development um, that happens has to have an effect on the people of the, these um, local towns. In fact, it actually aligns with our priorities as a province um, to promote our priorities um, as a province to promote these small dog bees mm. um, and to have our tourists actually passing through um, these small dog bees into on their way um, into uh, bigger destinations into the province through their self-drive routes. So yes, we do agree these initiatives have to uh, benefit yes. the locals and it has to be through an integrated approach in the province. Let me see, I know that these service, uh, service conversation starters for um, some of the initiatives that obviously um, continue um, but we're going to leave the conversation there um, MEC for um, finance economic development and tourism Venus Blenis Samacha joining us this morning chatting about the economic um, challenges also mitigating against some of these challenges the social ills um, in relation to the astro tourism uh, strategy that obviously has been approved by government and really its impact on the local community at large